Okay, look. How can I see my life through your eyes? And how can you feel my pain? Right? So that's what I want to speak on, right? Is how would you know what's happening to me personally if I didn't defeat what was personally happening to me and then tell you what happened to me personally? <laughs> See, but if you tell me what you believe, how you not aiding and abetting the person who personally stopping me from getting back to my wife, right? Because I'm saying it all started with me taking care of her when she was 19. That's when she became a part of me. And together we made two more people. See, that's our world, right? Now, you would say, oh, you not God, I'm saying, but I'm a creator. Now, if you don't change your perception when you became a father, why would you get mad with my perception when I became a father? <laughs> See, I'm saying, if you learn about somebody, Right, whether it's Jesus, the Prophet Muhammad, Allah, God, then you have to envision those entities because how they people see, they was once people, but now they are entities, right? They are religions, so they are like a college or a school because you are being taught. So now, if you taught something that you don't believe that you could do, then you believe in something you can't do. Right? I mean, see, I'm saying you don't believe you could be Jesus. That's why you don't believe I can be good. <laughs> right? I had a preacher tell me, that Jesus is the only innocent person. And I say, so what is guilt or innocence in the court of law? Like, if you don't believe, because you talk, he was talking to me, telling me that I'm not innocent. And I'm saying, but if Jesus died for my sins, and I am as innocent as I am, then how Jesus didn't die for my sins, right? I'm saying, so if I respected Jesus enough not to sin as the world sins, so I, I felt like, okay, Jesus, you died for me. I'm saying, if I believe this, right? I'm saying, well, if I, okay, I'm going to show you in my life and my daughter can attest to this because i told her dr martin luther king and minister malcolm x and mr fred hamptons and mr huey p newton and and miss harriet tugman and and so on so on you know before me gave me the opportunity to be free i knew that right so I was enjoying the fruits of their labor and I was able to get a wage in which to grow. So my grandmama, when I was in church, they were talking about a financial seed, right? When they was asking people to pay tithes, they say you sowing a seed. Okay, well, that's what these great people did for us. They sowed the seed of freedom. So I, I got a thing where I went deeper in it on my iPad, right? But I just want to, you know, I'm just giving you just my, see where it's no written or nothing. I don't have nothing written down. 
to let you see I'm not a ghost writer, right? <laughs> like I'm actually telling you about me. See what I'm saying? Now, after you watch me die, see, cause obviously y'all all watching me cause I see y'all talking to me, right? But see, now I feel comfortable saying it, right? But understand, 15 years ago, that's what I'm telling you. How can I see how you see me out of your eyes? So what I had to do 15 years ago is see how y'all showing me stuff now? Like, I was just walking. A lady was walking across the street like I do because when I see black people, if I'm reading the Bible, understand, I now see y'all over the 15 years. See, I'm thinking that y'all tripping. You see what I'm saying? But I don't know y'all done done what you done, right? Now you showing it to me. See, and I'm saying, well, this is what I was doing for my, to my family. Now y'all doing it to me, see? So I'm saying, okay, I see what you're talking about. See, I see what you talking about, but you didn't see what I was doing. I'm saying, well, look, man, I was in court making sure that if y'all was doing this here, these people couldn't slaughter us. See, and y'all out here, see, it was small at first, but I'm telling them, I'm saying, man, don't you know I'm in court, man? So I'm trying to show you so now. I got to say, because when I'm in court, I'm out of control. Because the judge at the beginning was in control. So I had to stand in court, but I wrote what I was saying. See, this is what I'm saying about descendants of slaves. Well, if you don't know that in court you have to write your motion, and if you don't write it and submit it before you go into court, you can't speak on it. So if I didn't go and educate myself to the Florida rules of court, then how would I have known how to submit a motion? If I didn't read how a motion is submitted. So why my family is out doing whatever they doing, taking up counsel with themselves. I'm counts. I'm uh, reading the law. See, so I'll know how to operate in this environment. See, and that's all I'm saying, right? Like I was saying to a friend of mine about how can a slave teach you how to be free when all they ever been is a slave? So now, if if your enslaver has given you a, a way out of slavery, but they haven't taught you the way, then wouldn't a slave have to be like Moses and take all the ingredients of freedom and then put it in a, a lawsuit like you would in a pot. So, okay, if freedom is, is a dish that is served, because, right, you, freedom was given to us. So that's like it was served to us, right? But it was given to us in the form of a written um, document called an act, right? Now see how I'm not going and, and I'm not defining it or nothing, right? But it's called the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Now, if you don't know what rights are contained inside of that act because you're not taught See, and that's why I blame the civil rights movement. See, once they won the Civil Rights Act of 1964, they should have started teaching it religiously to descendants of slaves. See, just like they teach, just like we know the Bible. See, now I even know the Bible, right? But we should know the documentation that got us to this point of existence. 
See, if we know what happened in Jerusalem and we know what happened in Mecca, in Saudi Arabia, then we should know what happened in Washington, D.C. on July 2nd, 1964, because that applies directly to us. Then we even celebrate the birthday of the person that led the movement that got this document established. This is something that's historically established. Now, here I am using my constitutional rights to make sure that this Civil Rights Act of 1964 is adhered to. But the people who was with Dr. Martin Luther King is the one that's taken the right away from me. Now, how am I not to say that you killed him when I'm reading the Bible and it says that the, the people who killed Jesus was religious people? They believed in somebody else. They didn't really believe in Jesus. Then they sacrificed Jesus for their place in their nation which is now this spiritual world that we seem to not be able to escape from because your family will excommunicate you. They would throw you out of the family for religious belief. That's not sick. You would cut ties with something came out of your womb for something you believe. And so now, I was walking, right? This lady, she walked across the street. She came back. She walked across the street. Now, if I see somebody, I walk across the street, and then I go back when they pass, because I don't trust nobody, right? Why would I trust anybody, man, when I'm constantly under attack by the police, my friends, my family, I don't have no sense of security, no peace, nothing, man. I don't trust nobody. You know what I mean? But what can I do? Because if I go, if I get nervous, and then I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. And then y'all see, and that's a crime, right? So why should I let your crime destroy my mind? Because this the only life I get, man. So I got to live it no matter what, man. I got to live it or die. But you don't want to be charged for what you believe. So now the lady, the police came, right? The lady got in the middle of the road and flagged the police down and was telling something. The police stopped right now. The police stopped, but right when the police turned into this gas station, now on the other, right across the street is a Catholic church that's a block long. I mean, it's the whole block. It's a man where the police decide the police turn on. <laughs> he got, he land on the sidewalk with a pillar, a cover, and all of his clothes spread out all over the place. Some of them even in the street. The police ain't messed with him. Went in listening to the lady. Now, what I saw is me calling the police. And the police saying, we see what you talking about. But the church throwed you out your house. And that's what I'm telling. I'm saying, yeah, that's Pastor Willie C. Barnes. So I'm saying, yeah, that's what happened. See, so now I'm saying, okay, is that what happened? Because that's what I was showing y'all that I went to Pastor Willie C. Barnes. I called the police. So I'm saying, now, if y'all going to show me what I done been showing y'all, when y'all going to let me go back to my to my life? Because now you see I'm innocent, but now you don't want to pay 
for all of the stuff you did. But I'm saying, hey, man, my wife already said to forgive. But all I'm saying is we should never forget as a, as a people. See, I'm talking about as the human race. See, no matter if you gay. And then I just find, well, I, you know, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> The trans, right? I, man, I don't understand. But see, if you trying to understand something, you can't understand. And that's me because I, I had to argue with my, well, I don't like to say argue with my mama, but I used to debate it because I'm saying, well, I don't understand it. Now, does that mean I'm against it? I'm saying, I'm just saying I don't understand it. So how could I be for or against something I don't understand? So if that is something new and I can't understand it and I'm not for it and I'm not against it, then I don't deal with it because it don't have nothing to do with me now. Did I hurt your feelings? See, now it's like you forcing that on me. And I'm saying, that's your life, man. That's what you want. Why do I have to accept it? And I'm talking about that's with religion for me, right? But now that it, that now in my life, it's, I'm saying when I was born, that wasn't a thing. Right? Then you you know, but you had the, the drag queens and stuff, you know, you seen that. But you know, that was like Halloween, you know what I mean? That's why like we didn't really celebrate Halloween day because my daddy was saying that's the freak holiday. But see, I'm saying, so you know what I mean? And then we were poor man, you know. See, you went as yourself. <laughs> A poor kid. You know, shit. Hey, I, I'm my, we barely get, like, we gonna get a, 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 a costume. Shit, please. <laughs> you know, see, I'm saying, when your life real and your people poor, it, they can't hide life. See what I'm saying? See, okay. You, I ain't never get a E, a F until I got to junior high school, right? And then them, they started <laughs> failing me, right? But I lived in the projects. So how could my parent and my grandmama tell me I'm a naughty kid and I'm bringing home A's and B's? So they had to be honest, because I'm in school being indoctrinated but I'm at home being taught reality. See, my economy could not support the lie. So when I come home with the lie, my economy told me I ain't no Santa Claus. See, cause ain't nobody coming up in here bringing nothing right now. So you, you being educated and it's done in a forceful way cause Maybe they wanted to do it, but they like, hey, man, your life real. This ain't no, see, so when I tell you that, it was told to me. Like, hey, man, your life real. This ain't no fairy tale, man. Ain't nobody going to come give you nothing because real life show real circumstances, right? So now when I had money, then I tried to, um, well, I didn't support the fairy tale. Like, I told my children, ain't no Santa Claus. You know what I mean? But I didn't take the experience away from them. So they had to do, they had to build themselves to live the experience. So that way, if they did it to their children, then they would hopefully do it the same way and 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 tell them that well they should know then that hey you buying them gifts right ain't no sound you buying that right so why should i give somebody else the credit oh thank you santa uh -uh. santa ain't buy that i bought it you know what i mean you come hug me thank you daddy thank you mama and, and we get the glory 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, I don't understand why would I lie to my kids. So that's what I'm telling y'all. Like I'm saying, life is hard enough without making it something it's not. See, if you build on your real life, then you build your real life. And that's all I'm trying to show is that if you work on becoming a better person, then it's your job to become a better person. Now, when did this economic system ever see you as valuable to the system? See, we have been valuable to the owner of the system. See what I'm saying? And what I so, but I'm showing y'all that the system has no owner. See what I'm saying? It, it only has one that applies it. See, once you apply the system, then the system is going to be implied. See? And then once it's implied, it'll become applied. <laughs> See what I'm saying? But if you can't read nor write, or if you're reading the wrong um, book, then how would you know how to put a motion in for your emancipation. Because just like they tell you anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law, anything they say can and will be used against them in that same court of law. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So that's why they say, man, you, 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 you need to let that go. And I'm saying, well, you don't let go somebody's criminal record when you're charging somebody with the same crime. So why would I have, why would I let you go when you committed the same crime against me that history has said you have committed against my ancestors? So if I rob a citizen, then the law is what protects the citizen from me. Well, if if you have always said that you was wrong, but it wasn't a crime because it wasn't against the law when you did it. Now I'm saying, well, hey, on July 2nd, 1964, you said that this would be a crime because that's why you made this law an act on July 2nd in 1964 for the significance of my independence tied two days before your independence. See, you did me July 2nd. And you was July 4th. So that's what I'm telling black folks. On July 2nd, we should fire up fireworks. And then uh, as a country, we fired up on July 4th. See, that's supposed to be a, three, a whole three-day event. When black people became free, America became healed from its enslavement history. And then we all become free on July 4th. That's when, that's how it was supposed to be. That's the significance of it. But see, if you, if I don't defend what was written for me, then how would I ever be a part of what was written for me? See, that's what we don't understand. When they talked about giving us 40 acres and a mule, they gave it. See, just like, because they gave it to me. That's what I'm telling them about when they stole my house at 3250 Safe Harbor Lane. I'm saying, hey, I'm a veteran. See, I'm not talking about the 40 acres and the mule that you gave those who fought in the Revolutionary War and then you tricked them out, of, some of them out of it. See, now that's, that land shouldn't have been taxed because people died for it. See, that's why now I'm saying, okay, but if a scam has been played, then the only way you know that a scam is in play is when you reveal the scam that's being played. So that's what I'm saying. See, I, I was taught hustle game from a child. So how could you hustle a hustler? Who, who was trying not to hustle. See, I'm saying, nah, man, I stepped away from that 
and I started doing this. Now, I'm talking about I did it when I was 18. I didn't have to get out of something I was born into. I left it, and then I became what who I am. See, that's what I'm telling people. That's why I say, man, I need you to be a witness to who I used to be. See, that's why I said I wrote a book. I had to go from imperfection to perfection perfectly. I'm saying, well, look, man, this is my perfection. See, I'm saying, look, I perfected the law. Then that's when the, the jealous eye, I couldn't see. So now I'm seeing that, okay, now y'all here, but I'm saying, how if my family did this to me 15 years ago because the church helped the state throw me out. So that's what I'm saying, right? That the police saying when well, you called us, but the church had already helped the state throw you out. So what could we do? So I'm telling the police, I know. See, but what I'm saying is y'all should have did something when it was small. See, now all you can do now is tell the truth or it's going to uh, smolder. See, you're not going to put it out. It's going to still be burning in history. See, that's what's going on right now in, um, in, 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 uh, on the Gaza Strip. Because I don't want to say Israel. See, that, it, that's Gaza, right? Because according to the Bible, them people invaded them people. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you believe in the Bible, now you should see the beginning of, of what is now going on in the Gaza Strip. You should see when Moses went back and got the Israelites that it was never peace in the Middle East. So now, here we are in America, right? And how is it going to be peace in America if you kill me? And all of y'all know. So all you can do is just give me back my life. What else can you do? See, so I see you, you know me, now what? You just going to starve me? When can I eat? Right? Now, you say I throw that dude food. I bought that food. He didn't buy it, and he didn't work. See, I'm saying I put the work in, and I'm owed my money. See, I'm owed the money for services that I got by the sweat of my brow. So y'all wrong even according to the Bible. You didn't feed me. So how am I a goat? I'm feeding you knowledge. And I, and I fed that person, but the person was fit to make it where I couldn't help y'all. Okay, <laughs> do y'all understand that when that dude, when I... I went and got him to do some work that he that I had already paid for. I got three thousand dollars worth of grass, and I got the people coming to do the appraisal on the house. And this dude is telling me that he don't care nothing about what I got going on, and man, he don't give a damn. This, this, and, and, and man, I'm I'm already like. You feel me? And then he say, man, I'm I'm getting out. And, and then he took my food. Man, I'm t at that time, man, I could have killed that dude, man. Cause I'm think I'm saying, man, I gotta get this done, man. And all I I all I can do is just grab the food and throw it on the ground. Because I didn't want to grab him because I knew then I'd have been. I probably would have snapped, man. Man, I, them people had took $1.2 million from me and tore my credit up. And that's when I had to get them get the um the mortgage, the, the, the scam mortgage with when when they man, my mortgage went from twenty six hundred dollars a month to five thousand seventy five dollars a month. And I'm and you talking about this dude, man. And I had to pay $5,075 a month for a year. And my lawyer just sat there and let them soak me dry. But I was fishing. So I'm showing y'all, I'm saying, well, this is how you catch a lawyer. 
This is how, so now y'all showing me. Okay, then I see. Now what? You just going to starve me or when you going to save me? See, that's what I'm asking, right? So y'all showing me what I'm in court showing y'all. But now y'all won't let me get my money in court, but you showing me what I'm already showing y'all in court. So you saying it done came out of court? Okay, then. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See? So now if it done came out of court and you killed my son, well, hell, what you want me to do other than what I'm telling you I'm going to do? You did what you did. You showing me you know better because you showing the shit to me. I'm saying it. I'm saying, so damn, these motherfuckers killed my son. See, and that's what I'm telling I'm saying, well, I see y'all, what's real? Because what I'm saying is going to become real if what you did is real. So I'm saying, that can't be real. The police would have pulled him and said, man, get all your shit up off the sidewalk. See what I'm saying? So you saying, see, man, there ain't no police. I'm saying, but do you know now that the, the, only the strong going to survive? Do you know now that everybody going to start killing everybody because there ain't no order? So what I'm saying is, why would y'all let the devil live in peace and harmony? And then when the truth come in, then all hell break loose. See, why was you comfortable in hell? But at the at the at the sight or the opportunity to live in heaven, all hell done broke loose. So check this. If I for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancy Council Senior, am okay, I should wait no, you know what? I, I, okay, I did it like this here. And I think I, well I'm doing it like this because I'm saying I'm a subject of Four Castles Incorporated as well as the king of Four Castles Incorporated because I'm the originator of it. See what I'm saying? So um, if you look at the high priest uh, Caiaphas, right, he was property of Rome. And now the church is what gives uh, spiritual guidance to leaders. So see how it flipped? He was once property, now the church is now leading. See what I'm saying? So once they killed Jesus to then control the people, they had to create this story that makes you um, comfortable in hell because these people telling you about their God Right, but then now when somebody like me come in the image of Dr. Martin Luther King, Minister Malcolm X, Miss Harriet Tubman, and all the great men and women before me, and and speaking of them as I now finish the work of them, taking us into the opportunity to live in heaven here on earth. Now I now I have nobody. See, now you showing me all this crazy stuff, man. And I'm saying, aren't we supposed to become wiser than the serpent? How then do we become the serpent? If we are supposed to be wiser than the serpent, how do y'all now become the serpent? So somebody has taught you how to become a serpent. See, they didn't teach you how to be Jesus. And I'm saying, well, if you go to school to be something then you should become what you went to school to be. So if you go in the church, why you can't be a good person? Why you got to act like the high priest Caiaphas, the Pharisees, the chief priest, the high priest, the scribes, the elders, the people in the crowd that, cru that said crucify Jesus and let Barabbas go? Like, why y'all got to be like them? See, why y'all don't become better because you know how bad they were? But see, so this is what I'm saying. I'm a descendant of ancestors for whom were illegally enslaved mentally as well as physically, then wouldn't it make legal sense that I for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancy Council Senior of the United States Navy, 
would have had to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally separate, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as succession, for which is defined as a temporary or final ceasing as of an action in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. So see how I have two final endings, see, that I had gave in, in what they call a legal conclusion. So I said in conclusion, which is final, that I would want to be emancipated. So now, if President Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of these United States of America, in, um, emancipated my ancestors on January 1st in 1863 through the Emancipation Proclamation, and then they, the United States government now says that anything a citizen do can and will be used against them in the court of law. Then if the United States of America breached the agreement through the proclamation of emancipation that the uh, 16th president of these United States, Abraham Lincoln, gave through the uh, proclam um, emancipation proclamation, because proclamation is just a public announcement. See, it's not a law. It's, not, it's just him being the president, putting on the historical record through an, a, a, a proclamation, which is a public announcement, that he, as the president, was freeing my ancestors. So now, when the president of these United States of America, George W. Bush, violated that agreement, then I cited it in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida because they say anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. So that's my succession, my succession papers. See, but now what I'm saying to descendants of slaves, whether they be European, European through um, January of uh, July 4th, uh, 1776, for which was when you, as well as my Indian ancestors, as well as my African ancestors, fought for your freedom from your from our king. King George III. See, that's why you all don't want to go back to history and understand that Indians fought in the Revolutionary War, black people fought, white people fought on both sides. See, both sides. And then they was all given freedom equally. And then they started conniving, backstabbing. That's why you see the laws talk about shams, See, and they call them sham pleadings because, see, when you win a civil war, you become case law. See, but now the civil war is not what it was when, when America was ignorant. See, when it took guns, it almost wiped itself out. See, you best to understand like a, a man, almost a million people got wiped out and it wasn't that many people. They was just coming over here. <laughs> See, 1863, you didn't get free. You wasn't even free a hundred years. 1776, 1863. And you almost wiped yourself out being racist, trying to own another human being after you was owned. So see, when do America really look at its history and understand that we all was owned by the king? Everybody over here, black, Indian, everything, he felt like he owned us. And we all banded together with the help of France. That's history. See, but now you all now, y'all done started taking people rights, man. But as if you was born free, not according to American history. It was property of King George. So now that I liberate my people, you don't want to elevate me to my proper place. But okay, I don't, you know. It's why I, for whom name is President Tommy Chancy Council Senior, Four Councils Incorporated, am a secession of production clause. See, 
So that's that's an actual legal legal. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna show you a succession of production clause for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as a lease. For which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as a contract by which a rightful possessor of real property for whom is the United States of America legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, mentally, and federally conveys, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally transfer, as well as legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally deliver freedom, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the quality, state, or condition of being free, as well as liberated, especially the right to do what one wants without being controlled or restricted by oneself, by anyone. It says restricted by anyone. And then I'm saying in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls anywhere in the world. After I, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally displayed, my for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated Mental Process Privilege, for which is for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as deliberative process privilege, for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as the principal for which for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated that a decision maker's thoughts had have and, uh, thoughts and how I for whom simple name is uh, Tommy Chansey Council Senior. So what I'm saying is my decision maker, I'm a decision maker and my thoughts. So that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm using it. So it says, when you look at that, it's a deliberative process privilege. Then it's defined as a print, um, a decision maker's thoughts. So that's what it starts out as. So I'm saying that I am the decision maker for Four Castles Incorporated, and these are my thoughts. So that's why, like the first book that I wrote, or the first motion that I wrote into book form was a, a book of thoughts on the journey to my dream. See, so this is what I'm, so when I'm learning, I'm saying, oh, see, this is what they call it in the Black's Laws Dictionary that I am a decision maker. So, okay, so decision maker's thoughts, which I'm giving you my thoughts from the decision that I had made and, and how I, for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Senior, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally led to a decision in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida at 9.20 in the morning. Okay, now what I'm saying then is my decision to, to, to fulfill the oath that the United States of America gave to me when I was 18 years old also set off and made the elected officials in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida also make a decision. So now it became a spiritual decision versus a military fulfillment. See what I'm saying? And that's when you look at it like Caesar against the church in defense of Jesus. So see, this is what I'm, okay, Say if Jesus was protected by Caesar, then they wouldn't have been able, because he would have been a Roman, right? So now say if Caesar found out that Pontius Pilate didn't promote justice, right? 
And then Caesar came. Wouldn't Caesar be punishing Pontius Pilate for what he did to Jesus? So wouldn't the whole, when Caesar come, wouldn't the army come with Caesar? He ain't coming by himself. So see, now if Jesus was a descendant of Caesar, see how the kingdom would have came? <laughs> All of Rome would have came right along with Caesar. So that's what I'm saying. See, now by me being a veteran who took an oath, now I'm summonsing all those who took the oath. But now you say that I'm a terrorist. And I'm saying, well, what was I supposed to do to, to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, if I wasn't supposed to secure the, the Constitution with my evidence of my following it, so then you couldn't then keep me in the mental hospitals you kept putting me in, but now you don't want to pay for what you did. But I had to pay. So this is what I'm saying. That are not subject to revelation in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world, nor scrutiny in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole, nor Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. Now, see, and then it's saying an exception. So this, this is, the, this is the, the whole definition now. An exception to the rule may be allowed in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities. Oh, see, boy, I'm studying. Boy, I done did it twice, boy. See, that's what I'm saying, man. You, boy, how can y'all see my pain? Schools, colleges, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world after I, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancy Council Senior, clearly showed in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, that my for whom name is Tommy, that my for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Fort Council Incorporated, see, Incorporated's decision. So that means that I made this decision just like the founding fathers of the 13... Uh, states of the United States of America uh, made that decision on July 4th, 1776. See, I'm saying, so if that's the date that your founding fathers did what they did to found the 13 states of the United States of America, then why not August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning is not the date that I founded Folk Houses Incorporated inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida. See, if I had to fight a, a war civilly inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida just to do business as Four Counties Incorporated, then why Four Counties Incorporated doesn't have the same sovereignty that the 13 states had when they separated from the 13 colonies. <laughs> See, I'm saying, well, I had to fight an individual war just to do business in the country I was born in, and now my, my uh, corporation is not seen as the 13 states. I had to use the Declaration of Independence. Man, it's sad, man, but okay. Uh, as well as the elected officials of the United States of America and the federal courthouse. Okay, wait, no, okay, look. D okay, no. That my for whom name is Pe uh, President Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Four Councils Incorporated's decision resulted from the biased bad faith 
misconduct, illegal as well as unlawful actions of the elected officials of the state of Florida in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as the elected officials of the United States of America in the, in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. Even after the, even after the deliberative process privilege was written to encourage open and independent discussion amongst those who develop government policy for, for the citizens of Four Castles Incorporated, the United States of America, and Chancey Incorporated's government to follow in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. Which is, why the, uh, which is why the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States, I done hit it again. Boy, I tell you. Okay, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 are now all the legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal property of Four Castles Incorporated, the United States of America, and Chance Incorporated, in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, which is why I, for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated, am a legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal deed, for whom, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as a written instrument in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, by which freedom is legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally conveyed to the descendants of slaves in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world like land is conveyed. But if land was given to the ancestors of slaves by the liberators of the mentally enslaved and then the descendants of slaves sold the land that the descendants of slaves inherited back to the descendants of their ancestors and slavers, then wouldn't have the descendants of slaves sold the financial inheritance of descendants of slaves back to the descendants of slave owners? <laughs> see, so, see, that's why I didn't want to leave my children with money, nor land. I wanted to leave them with freedom and understanding of money and how to work the land. See, because if I gave them the land and didn't show them how to work it, then the land wouldn't be able to bring forth nothing for my children to eat because they don't know how to work the land that I left them. And see, that's why we must understand that what our ancestors had was ability to work the land. But what we now have they have bred out of us, see? And now we do not have the ability to bring forth anything other than destruction. Look at us, and we best to understand that this is not us, but it's made for us, and it's up to us to reject what is not of us and then become who we supposed to be because we are slaves. See what I'm saying? And once you embrace the fact that you are a slave, then you will start becoming free. Because then you will know that the things you do are the things that a slave do. 
And once you stop doing, and I'm talking about mentally, stop doing what a slave do, you will see that liberation comes from participation. And <laughs> see, you got to participate in liberation or you're not going to be liberated. So once you become free, now you have to do what free people do to maintain freedom. So if you then do not become a farmer, how are you going to scave off famine if you do not increase your, food, your production of food? So see, that's why I'm telling you I am a, um, let me see, let me go back to what I was saying. See, I'm a deliberative process privilege. See, well, it's, it's, a, it's a deed. See what I'm saying? So when you look at it, see, I'm the deed and, and I'm the deed of freedom. See what I'm saying? And so I am an example of freedom's deed that you a deed has to be done. So I am a done deed. So that way you will know and have faith in the process because I showed you how the process works. So now, which is why I, wait a minute, let me make sure. Okay, see, this is what I was saying. I'm a deed, so which is why I'm a deed for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is a written instrument, see? So I'm a deed that's a written instrument. So like John said, the word would be with God and God would be the word. See, I'm a written deed. So that means I'm a word. And then if Jesus say we are all gods, see, I'm like what John said. See, if I didn't come in the word, how could I claim to be the fulfiller of John 1? If I'm not in words in court, the way Jesus was. But I don't know, that's too much. But okay, let me see. Okay, therefore, how can a descendant of a slave in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, or judgment halls? I got to make, see that what I'm saying? History in the making. Anywhere in the world. But hey, I want y'all to really listen to this, though. Anywhere in the world. Okay, I'm going to say it again because I just had to make this. Okay, therefore, how can a descendant of a slave in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, or judgment halls anywhere in the world for whom ancestors squandered their freedom legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally inherit freedom in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, or prisons, anywhere in the world. Okay, now I got to make anywhere in the world. After, you, after your elected officials of the United States of America squandered the independence of the United States of America in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, after the elected officials of the state of Florida violated the Florida Constitution in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, which is why, which, which is what legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally proves that I, for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Castle Sr., was born out of Queen Dolores Yvonne Rackett Castle on January 8th in 1969 at 2.20 in the afternoon to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, mentally, and federally perform an act that, that is intended to create one or more property interests in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world, regardless of whether the act is actually effective in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning to create those interests 
in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9 20 in the morning after the United States of America uh, legally, historically, biblically, rigid, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally gave me for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy the right to use and occupy the state of Florida's legal provisions for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as a clause in a statute, contract, or other legal instrument in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.00. 20 in the morning when when I now I'm doing I for whom simple name so I gotta write this in now I for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Castle Senior. See so I'm actually writing this right because I this was yesterday I what I didn't finish because I had that thought this morning. So, see, so that's why I'm telling TJ, see, man, I never finished it. So when I, for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Senior, um, wait a minute, when I, for whom Tommy Chancey Council, wait, wait, now I got to read it again. Okay, see, I got to read it again and make it make sense. Legal provisions for which, according to the Black's Law, Dictionary is legally defined as a clause in a statute, contract, or other legal instrument in the civil and criminal courthouses and similar in Orange County in the state of Florida. Wait a minute. Let me know what I got to say. It's something I wanted to say. Oh, oh, oh. When I, okay, okay, when I from was 18 years old. See, I'm saying, okay, that's what I'm saying. They, when I was 18, they gave me the right because they gave me the oath. You see what I'm saying? Now, so which is why I, for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Council Senior of Fort Council Incorporated, is a legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal stipulation for whom was legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally made beforehand by Minister Malcolm X, Dr. Martin Luther King, as well as all of those before me for whom simple name is Tommy, Ch uh, Tommy Chancey Council Senior, made legally, historically, biblically, religiously, financially, mentally, and federally beforehand that specifies what the lease for which is uh, the United States of America, the, the least E. See, okay, what I'm saying is Dr. Martin Luther King them had the Civil Rights Act of 1964 pen. America said, okay, this is what we going to do because of the turbulent times in the 60s, right? So now we supposed to be living under that agreement so we won't be back in those turbulent times. But see, if you do not teach of the stipulations, then the people won't become a stipulation. See, so what I had to do was become a legal stipulation who cited the stipulations inside of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. So now we have a person for whom is me who has cited the provisions inside of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. See what I'm saying? So now the provisions are now being implemented and now the state of uh, the state of Florida as well as the United States of America now has to protect what it said it would do for me. See, see when I cited the Civil Rights Act of 1964, it became personal. See, and, and, and it's my right to my pursuit of happiness and my right to my pursuit of happiness is to feed the least of these. So if that's my right, then why would you then be mad with me? Because I think I'm Jesus. I'm saying if I was a Christian, 
then wouldn't I do this because I love Jesus and I want to emulate Jesus? But what I don't understand is why would a Christian who followed Jesus be mad at a man for whom trying to feed a child? See, wouldn't you be mad with Jesus for trying to feed the least of these? If I'm, if you mad with me for trying to feed the least of these? So why wouldn't the church help me feed a child? Why would the church be mad at me for trying to feed the child, but tell that same hungry child that Jesus multiplied five fish and, a, and five loaves of bread? As if that's going to feed the hungry child now, just telling them what Jesus did when you going to leave church and go feed yourself, your family, your girlfriend, your, your, your mistress. You see what I'm saying? And that's what, see, what, I don't do that. But if your, if, if your profession do it, you do it. You guilty by association because you start talking about them, but you don't do what Jesus did. You don't go cleanse your father's house. But Jesus said in the scriptures, he never taught in your synagogue. So if he didn't teach then, how is he teaching now? You bring in the word of Jesus into the church, but you wouldn't allow the body of Christ in there. <laughs> See, you only allow the words you sell. You don't allow the deeds to be done in church. Okay, look, which is why I for whom Name is King Tommy Chancey Council Senior. Is a legal historic. Okay, no, that's a stipulation. I'm, I'm okay. Now, what I'm saying, okay, beforehand, that specifies what the least E. So, to see, the state, the state of Florida, I mean, the United States of America, at least us freedom, right? So, they are the least E's of our freedom. And it says, the least E for which is the United States of America must do in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9 20 in the morning to legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally maintain the production of four houses incorporated as well as Chancey incorporated, which was illegally stopped in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10 40 in the morning which is why I, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy, am a legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally quiet, for which is defined as free from disturbance, in inter interference, or disputes storm, for whom is defined as a legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal disturbance, for whom is defined as the act of disturbing, for which is defined as the in, to interfere, for which is defined as to enter into or take a part in the concerns of others in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida for eternity and beyond infinity within another's atmosphere, for which is defined as the gaseous, 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 gas, gaseous, for which is defined as having the late legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal form of a legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritually, yeah, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally enveloped, for which, accord, for which is defined as natural and natural in closing, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally covering over a celestial body, for which is defined as an aggregation, for which is defined as a group, body, and mass, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally composed of many distinct parts or individuals of matter in the universe in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world that can be illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally considered 
as a single unit in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. So what I'm saying there, right, is that once we, once the devil and I and Satan and all of his, uh, there and them uh, elements of evil and I tangled in court, then we, we legally separated. And then I became the judge, the righteous became the plaintiffs and all of the deceitful people became the defendants. So in court, it was nothing but four castles and me. <laughs> that was it. And so, so not legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally marked by a legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal win, and usually followed, for which is defined as to go, proceed, as well as come after legal rain, historical snow, biblical hail, religious sleep, spiritual thunder, and federal lightning in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally out of a brilliant, for which is defined as very good mind for which is defined as the source of thought and intellect's secret, diplom uh, secret diplomacy, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as diplomacy, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the art and practice of conducting legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal negotiations as President Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of Fort Castles Incorporated in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally between Four Castles Incorporated and the United States of America, illegal, illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally carried on by the United States of America and legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally carried on by President Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of Fort Castles Incorporated behind closed doors in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning which is why I, for whom name is King Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. of Fort Castles Incorporated, am now wondering is a brilliant mind for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the seat of mental f faculties in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning. Not a legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal gem for which is defined as a precious or sometimes semi-precious stone cut and polished in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning because the body for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the main part of the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964's written instrument in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, such as the central part of the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, 
the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran, for which was legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally used by the brilliant mind, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the ability to will, direct, as well as the assent, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as agreement, approval, as well as the permission, especially verbal, as well as non-verbal conduct, reasonably interpreted as willingness of me, for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Council Sr.'s legal memory, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the period during which a legal right or custom can be determined as well as established for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as having existed for a long period of time in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida ever since February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, which is when, where, how, as well as why, I for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, mentally, and fairly cut the angels of the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, as well as the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally, and to particular forms in the midst of the Garden of Eden within no with, with numerous facets, for which are defined as many of the definable aspects that makes up the subjects for which according to the Black's Law Dictionary is legally defined as someone who owes allegiance to a sovereign, especially a, mon a monarch, and is governed by the sovereign's laws, one who is under the governing power of another in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, which is why the deception for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the act of deliberating, de, excuse me, the act of deliberately causing someone to believe that something is true when the actor knows it is it to be false, is why I, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class Tommy Chancey Council Senior of the United States Navy, know for a legal, historical, biblical, religious, spiritual, financial, mental, and federal certainty that God, for whom is all our children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world and Allah for whom is God's children in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world are illegally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally enslaved, for which is defined as of, relating to, or Wait, of relating to, involving, or used for, for people in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, and judgment halls all over the world. After I, for whom name is Petty Officer Third Class, Tommy Chancellor Council Senior of the United States Navy, legally, historically, biblically, religiously, spiritually, financially, mentally, and federally used my for whom name is President Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated's display right, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as a copyright, for, for which, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, is legally defined as the right to copy King Tommy Chancey Council Sr. of Four Councils Incorporated, for whom is the rightful owners 
exclusive rights to show or exhibit a copy of the protected work publicly in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th and 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as, uh oh okay, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th and 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, whether directly or by uh, technological means in hoods, projects, school, uh, in hoods, projects, communities, schools, colleges, universities, churches, temples, synagogues, mosques, detention centers, jails, prisons, judgment, and judgment, wait a minute, oh no, jails, prisons, judgment halls all over the world, in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning that makes it illegal to transmit a, a copyrighted work over the internet without permission of me for whom simple name is simply Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. So, see, what I'm saying is the state of Florida and the civil and criminal courthouses in similar and Orange Counties in the state of Florida are selling my a copy of my works. And I'm saying that that is stolen income from Four Castles Incorporated as well as Chancey Incorporated for which is the production company because I told my daughter, my daughter told me to write a book about my life and I told her that she could write it. See, and so that's why I started Chancey Incorporated as a production company for my life. So when my daughter and my son tell my life, it's a movie.